My mum's in an absolute state, and I knew straight away, I was like, something's happened really bad. And she's like, Nanny's been murdered. I was like, what? She's like, Nanny's been murdered. I was like, what? And that's all I knew. She's like, you need to come home. Nikki's coming to pick you up with her husband right now. You need to, you know, you need to come to the front of school. I was like, that's fine, that's fine. I literally, instantly, I felt absolutely sick. Um, I went to the office and then was like, you okay? I was like, no, I felt sick. I had to sit down because I literally thought I was going to pass out. I felt, I don't know, it felt horrendous. Um, they gathered all my stuff and I met Nikki at reception and we just hugged. And still to this, till that time, I still didn't know the extent of what had actually happened. Um, I get in the car and slowly, um, James, who's my sister's husband, he, um, he tells me the extent of what's actually happened. And he said to me, do not go on your phone, do not look at the news, don't look at anything. And he tells me, he told me obviously what had happened. And obviously the first thing someone said, don't go on your phone. And that's what you do, you go on your phone and you look and you look on BBC News and you see it's all over there. And I was thinking, you know, the whole world knew before I knew, which really upset me. And so you get yourself home. And I don't know, you don't even know how to comprehend what's happened. And, you still, to this day, you think, you know, it's a big nightmare and you think you're going to wake up and everything's going to be absolutely fine.